you see, boarders? People in very short skirts, my lord. And the whole reason we wrote this section is to get them in increasingly short skirts. So that's Rowan. And Hugh's going to be, with any luck, two and a half inches shorter than that. And then Stephen's um, skirt is actually going to be above pant level. Um, so that's what we spent the last hour rather pathetically talking about how high boys' skirts can be. Um, and uh, that's the joke from this scene. I think that's it. Although Stephen is talking in Latin. And I think he's finding that quite tricky. Yes, yeah. a Britannia revocare and Curitatem Nostrum Imperialem Defendum Constituit. You think they enjoyed all this press up and skirts and Roman kit? They're very attractive kits, aren't they? I think they do. Not as much as the interesting reconstructors who do it for fun at weekends, but there we go. Have you seen them yet? Of course, you've got to have marched 20 miles a day for a heck of a long time, been in the army for 25 years, fought heavy barbarians and lived on army cooking, and that way you're either dead or you have huge muscular legs. You know, mine are, what can I say, aesthetic. Then we're having an attack by Scottish hordes. Excuse me. Uh, just wanted to ask why the director picked genuine Scottish people. Because we're pretty vicious. <laughs> 177 take two, A camera. Action! Action! <laughs> 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 Spirit of Jupiter, our culture is centuries ahead of theirs. Why, we have toilets. And wipe our bottoms with vinegar-soaked sponges. Yes, and they wipe their bottoms with Roman soldiers. What's unusual about this is that well, this is on location and is all you know. there's no audience apart from the crew. Uh, but the actual making the series was in... Uh, we would do in front of, I don't know, sort of 300 people and uh, on the night, no matter how carefully you decided to... Uh, Assemble your uh, this delicately drawn portrait of a particular character on the night, and given the fear and adrenaline, I just go ah and <laughs> pull faces. Hurrah! <coughs> oh no! There I go again! <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! La 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 la! Row 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 your punch gently down the stream. Belt off, trousers down. Ears and life a scream. <laughs> Fabulous. University education. You can't beat it. Can you? The interesting thing is that Melch is very like Hugh yeah. and George is very like me. It's funny how that happens. Yeah. No, uh, well, uh, there is a difference between the Elizabethan Melchers, if you want can to find one. It's a little bit quiet. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think there I'm is. Looking forward from, to this. From within. OK. He, he's, he's rather more um, suave. <laughs> They shout. Whereas, whereas the later Melchior just goes, Back it up! Catch it! Excellent native cockney wit. <laughs> OK, ready? Here we go. Uh, it's called a, a, a clever person's board. <laughs> these, these are called clever person's boards, and they are for, for clever people to, 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 to read. Ah, pay attention, come on. But my news is Rome, on all sides, is being attacked. Passive, you'll notice. But the emperor does nothing but poison his mother and marry his horse. Roll, please. 162, take seven, pick up, eh, camera? <laughs> it's hard way. Sinatra's corpus, pride in loud and carded, quite a loud and carded, two of summer, some tory, road car, a chimitard of nonsense, and imperial of defendants. Do you see? <laughs> Did you hear that, boys? <laughs> no, my lord. <laughs> <laughs>
Sidi Barato, Nihil Fakisi. Nihil. Sometimes you laugh at things that you shouldn't be laughing, like sometimes Rowan stumbles on a line. And um, we shouldn't laugh at that, but we do. Brilliant. Just brilliant. What, oh, Centurion? We are facing a horde of ginger maniacs with wild goats. No, no, dash, blast. Stephen turns up in, as a Roman in the shortest skirt, where his skirt's up here, in a nappy. And it's always wonderful when you actually can't call cut because you're giggling so much. After three years of sub-zero temperatures, at last a sufficiently warm climate to allow my wedding tackle to descend from my armpit. Right, good, <laughs> <laughs> Of course, it can go horribly wrong. It's a pretty mercurial thing, a film crew, and you can have horrible days where nothing goes right and everyone gets very bad-tempered, except me, strangely. <laughs> uh, I almost end this patience and love of man, my fellow man. Action! Last one there gets hacked to pieces by Ron Stewart's great-great-grandfather. 